Hello and welcome back to our video session on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement. In this video, we'll be looking at the Dynamics 365 for Sales Functional Module. As one of the core functional modules of a standard Salesforce automation system, the Sales Module revolves around managing leads, opportunities, and customers, as well as tracking the interactions we have with our customers. For a detailed view into sales, let's start by opening a browser session and navigating to the trial instance we created in the previous video. If you have not created it, follow the previous video on create your first 30-day trial for help creating a new instance. If you already have an instance, you can follow along in it. Starting with the July 2017 update, you now have two distinct user experiences working in the sales module. You can either leverage the classic web interface or the new sales hub. Let's start by looking at the classic web interface first. On the top navigation, expand the sales dropdown. This opens up the sub navigation where the entities making up the sales functionality are presented. Let's look at the categories and the main entities. First off, in sales, you have the My Work grouping. Here you get quick access to dashboards, which includes various dashboards related to all modules you have access to. The sales specific ones include the sales activity dashboard, the sales activity social dashboard, which is an extension of the standard sales dashboard with an expanded listing of user posts and interactions, the sales dashboard, as well as the sales overview dashboard, which is more user centered around your activities and records specific to you. So if we navigate to dashboards, and once it's loaded from the drop down here, we can actually choose one of the sales dashboards that are relevant. And they're easy to identify because they all start with sales. The dashboard is a good place to start your day in the system as it's meant to give you an overview of things you need to do on during the day. Next on the navigation, the what's new area. This area is a view into record specific posts and interactions. Part of this functionality is also comprising into the sales activity social dashboard. Finally, on the navigation, we go to activities and this option presents you with a listing of your open activities. You can also start from here and close activities as your work progresses through the day. Within this view, you can easily identify the activity types in the first columns, the subject, the regarding reference, the priority of the activities, as well as start date and due dates. This view can be customized to add or remove columns as needed. Next on the navigation, the customer section is your gateway into accounts and contact records. You can think of accounts as organizations you deal with, while customers are typically individuals. Note that within Dynamics 365 customer engagement, all views are security trimmed, showing you only the records you have permissions to see or edit in the system. The next grouping is the sales grouping. It links you into sales specific entities, including leads, opportunities, and competitors. To explain in terms that can be familiar to users of other systems, a lead is either a suspect or a prospect. This means that a lead is typically a person or organization that might be interested in purchasing products or services from your organization. This covers both the ones that have not expressed interest or have already reached out, but have not met all requirements to be considered an actual sales opportunity. This is a very sales specific definition but there are other instances where a lead can be used. The lead allows you to track unqualified information about something that can turn into a business opportunity. The opportunity in turn is the result of qualifying a lead. Once a lead goes through the necessary steps and is deemed valid, it can be converted to an opportunity. This is the possibility to engage into business with the new or existing customers. Competitors, just like the name suggests, allows you to track typically other organizations catering to the same customers as your business. On a competitor record, you can track what the strengths and weaknesses of the organization are based on your research, as well as your opportunities affected by this competitor. Some sales groups do not leverage this functionality and could potentially lose business opportunities by not building a profile of their competitors. Next, the collateral entities are typically entities used during the sales process. Quotes, orders, and invoices are an integral part of a complete sales process as they reflect the details on the nature of business you engage in with your customer. 
the products and sales literature are relevant in tracking the products or services you are offering to your customers. They will track the details of your business offerings. Every sales process has some overlap with marketing. As such, limited marketing functionality is made available to salespeople. The marketing grouping allows a salesperson to see predefined marketing lists as well as create new ones as permissions allow. The quick campaign allows the typical salesperson to communicate to groups of customers on various topics. This could include promotions, reminders, etc. The goals grouping revolves around performance indicators and allows setting and tracking sales success against established expectations. The roll-up queries allow for goals aggregations and reporting across multiple indicators. The tools area groups supporting functionality like reports and planning functionality like calendars and alerts. Finally, the business processes area groups together the functional steps required in a process. By default, the platform comes with a typical lead to opportunity process as well as an opportunity sales process. There are very few circumstances where these processes are used as described out of the box. Typically, a partner or solution will add their custom processes to better map to your business. The extensions area will show you additional customizations you've added to the system in the form of entities. As I mentioned previously, starting with the July 2017 release, we now also have the Sales Hub. We can reach the Sales Hub from the extension drop-down from Dynamics 365 and finding Sales Hub. The Sales Hub is presenting information using the Unified Interface, which is the interface based on the mobile user experience we've had in phones and tablets. This user experience supports richer controls and customizations and currently exposes a subset of the entities available in the Sales Module. It is built following strict responsive design principles and provides optimal experience for various screen sizes and touch devices. If your Sales Hub is not installed, you must install the Dynamics 365 sales application from the Administration Center available from the Dynamics 365 Administration Center solutions. Note that for mobile devices, you need to install the Dynamics 365 for phones and tablets.